Hi guys, Trevor here from Roeville Horse Trailers. Uh, understand the season's about to be upon us, the weather's going to get better. So I wanted to touch on what are the top things that you need to look out for when you're hooking up your trailer. So uh, we're going to go about the, the coupling, the handbrake, the wheels and tyres. Uh, some of these things you might know, but there's going to be a couple there that might catch you out. So uh, we'll go through those now. The first thing is the coupling uh, and having it hooked down. So uh, every, every month we'll have people turn up to drop their trailer off for a service and someone's left this up. So uh, making sure that you, you actually clip that all the way down, is, is that's the main one. The second one, you might actually not know too much about, but when, you, when you're putting the, the coupling on the tow ball, actually it, it looks like it's on, but you've already clamped it down. And even when you feel lifting it, you're not gonna move it. So it feels solid, you think you're on, but actually uh, it's not actually connected to the tow ball well. So to fix that, um, you just need to make sure when you're doing it, with everything else going on, you concentrate for this bit here. You want to make sure it gets all the way down. Make sure the jockey wheel is off the ground so you know it's all the way down. And then connect that on. Because visually there's not a big difference when the tow ball is all the way down or not. So keep an eye on that one. Um, the second thing is the, the handbrake. Uh, obviously if you leave the handbrake on and you've traveled that 10 minutes down the road, you might have some smoke coming out and maybe you cooked your brakes. So uh, simple one to forget. So make sure we're checking that to go down. Obviously you've got your chains and jockey, we've got to do those bits as well, but if you come around here I'll show you some wheels and tyres. So that's the top two, you've got your, your, your coupling to remember, your handbrake to remember. Uh, for the wheels and tyres, you've got a few things there. Just, you'll hear it all the time, check that, you, check that your wheel nuts are tight. To do that, just have your, um, your wheel brace, put it on, and just give it a little, just give it a little tweak. If, it, if they're loose, if it moves, then they're loose. Just tighten them as much as you can. But most of the time you'll find you'll put it on and they're not going to move, okay? Just go around, check them all like that. If you check those, for you to lose a wheel is going to be really hard. Like there's not really a reason to do that then. So just check your wheel nuts. The second thing is on the, the tyres is the tyre pressure. So just take the little cap off and you can do this at a service station if you don't have one at home. And just put your, your, the reader on there and you want to make sure with these light truck tyres are 65 psi. So if you have a smaller trailer, you could go as low as say 55, but they're, they're light truck tyre, they're not like a car tyre. So you want to make sure they've got the high pressure in there. If you have really low pressure, you could, the tyre will get worn differently and also get hot, and you have a blowout, and that's when you're on the side of the road, and we don't want that. Um, the other thing is the tyre condition. So tyres are only rated for six years, so if your tyres are older than that, you really want to get into someone to have a look at them. Uh, what can happen is actually they get little um, cracks in the tread, so when you're looking at the tread, don't just look at how much tread is there. You've got to look in between the tread for any little cracks and things like that. Um, another common one that might make the tire blow out is the, um, the valve. And if you pull on the valve, you'll see if there's little cracks on the valve because you could have a slow leak. And so that's the things to check on the tire. So uh, making sure it's younger than six years old, make sure it's got 65 psi pressure. There's no cracks in the tread or no cracks in the, uh, in the valve. Um, that's your tire. Okay, so the top four things. If you need any other advice, feel free to give us a call. If you want your trailer checked over, bring it by. Uh, otherwise, happy to help and, and enjoy the season coming up. Thanks, guys.